All right, welcome back to the show. Like we said, we have a guest in the building, Yemi Blake. Welcome. Thank you. See, I was going to say that. I was, but there's no, there's no CK. Yeah, it's actually black. Mm, not Blake. Yeah, it's okay. black. Okay, mm, and yeah. Yemi, do you know him? Jande. Yemi Black. Yemi Black. But you've been on the scene for a long time, and yeah, there's you've been in a lot of movies. You've acted, acted, everybody knows you, mm. you know, literally. But first, before I even go to what you're here for to talk mm. about, what's the journey been like for you from when you started mm. up until now? I'm sure you say maybe 95 or 96. It's been interesting. Ooh. It's been very interesting. Mm -hmm. Just to understanding that um, I didn't happen into acting. Mm. So a lot of guys just fumble their way into it or they find their way. But I've always wanted to act. I've always wanted to be in the arts, uh, be a singer, be a rapper. So I evolved over the years. I started, I started writing raps like in 89, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And all that and all that. So I'm still into music. In fact, I have music coming out soon. Wow. So it's just an embodiment of the arts over the years. You know? And so it's been really interesting, just growing, evolving, falling, standing up again, learning and, you know, becoming the entity that I am and the one that I ultimately will be. Hmm. Mm -hmm. that's, okay. that's so much experience. Quick question. Can you do a freestyle? Of course. All right. Okay, a first seller. Yeah. So, <laughs> subliminal messages transverse the metaphysical available to all before they turn diabolical. Okay. Only a few MCs like me okay. to retain the umbilical because I work to exceed the material. My blood lands. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, before you came, we were talking about what the president said. And he said there's a lot of resources in the country, things are going well. What do you think about his statement or comment? About the resources in the country? Yes. Things, of course. Things are working well. That's what he's saying. I don't know about things working well. Mm. Uh, we all know things are not working well. Mm. So uh, that's, that must be some person's um, uh, perspective. I don't knock perspectives mm. because um, I was talking to someone recently and I, I, we mentioned Queen Elizabeth. And I said, that's one person who, for whom suffering is a word. It's mm. never a feeling. You know? Mm. So when she talks about suffering, she cannot have the perspective of someone like me who has lived in the trenches. Mm. I've seen cyborg mosquitoes. With, with injection throat. <laughs> I've seen, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so at the end of the day, when you're looking at it, the things I've seen and things that she hears about are different. Mm -hmm. She sees pictures and images, but the feelings are, sorry, tr trust me, uh, it's not working well, Auntie. Mm. That's not lie. But your phone, you say it's different from what you said, you've been in the trenches. Because you oh. don't sound like you've been in the trenches. Before. Well, the thing is that uh, my father is, uh, is a stickler for speaking properly. Mm. So he studied in, in England, okay. and so. So, I mean, it's like speaking properly, it t tells us to. And then growing up, I lived in books because at the time that I grew up, there was no social media, television was limited to a few hours a day. So I read voraciously. I was in the books all day, all night. And so for me, it was just understanding the nitty gritty of that life and the exposure we had it was more about building your mind because when you focus on the on the visuals there's um there's something that happens with your mind it doesn't grow quite as much as when you know you read it you know it, it there's some synapses that connect in your brain so for me it's always being about that so yeah so i submit treasures so or when i enter the street and forget <laughs> so i'm hoping that we'll move later <laughs> okay so you're very fantastic with your roles and how is it how does the actor embody a character you get a script. There's so many actors nowadays. Everybody's actor in this. I'm sure you're yeah, actor. Yeah, every yeah, actor. Now want to say you're actor. Even, even, even people were there for streets. <laughs> where they say, hey, say what, that that what are you doing? Say, actor, sir. Actor, popular. <laughs> so how, when it comes to embodying a character, yeah. what's the first thing an actor should know or do? The first thing is that an actor should have a repertoire. So mm. for me, I'm I'm an astute observer of life. I'm always watching. If I walk, if I'm coming here, I'm watching you. Mm. I already have a mini profile of you, of him. You know what I mean, right? Based on people I've seen, I've met, I know. And so, always watching. When you watch astutely, you have a repertoire of characters in your mind. So when you have that, you have something to go to That's and then right. research on. So your research doesn't start from zero. You're mm. starting from like 40, 50 percent. You know what I mean, right? But the thing is, an act to prepare is very important. Whatever role you're playing is really imperative to know the psychological situation of the of the person at the time. Because acting goes beyond what people think it is. The thing is, ah, maybe you just say the lines now, just do no. It's about 
every single moment there's a psychological situation that's going on. The person is laughing mm. even though they're mad in their mind. The person is in love but they're lying. The person, you know what I mean, right? There's two, three, four layers of human beings are going through. You yeah. need to always be able to represent What would that. you say about the current situation? Like you said, everyone is an actor right now. Everyone claims to be an actor, just like everyone mm. claims to be an artist right now. So it's like, I make a few skits. Therefore, in my bio, I'm an actor. So what do you say about people casting people as a result of Followership. It's um, it's it's a game of numbers. So mm -hmm. for them, it's always about understanding that um, these people that they're casting bring a certain number to the movies. But at the end of the day, you can't take away the craft, you know, because way back in the days, always being about the 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 talent, you know, because acting is so it's so it's so sublime that it goes beyond what we think. Okay, so sometimes I'm done with work and I get back to the hotel. And some guys tell me, oh, let's go hang out. And I really wonder if we'll be doing the same job. Because in one single day, I've been in love, I've been angry, mm. I've been frustrated. All those emotions, when I portray them, I feel them. And I'm worn out. Mm. You know what I mean, right? Because I've just been a channel for these things to flow through. You need and to do a master class. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, master exactly. Class. Because you're just watching, like, you know, you're saying a lot of things. But because of time and a lot of things, yeah. before we go to our team of fair, yeah. let's, I want to ask you a question about distribution. A lot of movies coming out now. There's lots of online streaming platforms. Do you think they are affecting the way people watch movies as opposed to cinemas? Mm, think, things evolve. Everything evolves. Before cinemas, there was stage. Before stage, there was storytelling. Mm. You know what I mean? After that, then there's uh, this online. There's still something else that's going to come. So, um, uh, of course, things affect things. But at the end of the day, uh, even with cinemas in Nigeria, we haven't totally uh, explored the possibilities that are available to us because we have so many few cinemas cons um, considering the, the population that we have. Mm. You know what I mean, right? So um, online is, is the way to go because I have, um, my, my, my mother lives in Ondo town, Ondo state, you know, and she needs to see my movies and there's no cinema in town, not, not, not one so at all. She has to go to Akure to get a cinema, oh, wow. but with her phone, you can just go on YouTube and say, Auntie Mofe, you mean black, bam, and it comes up. You know what I mean? Exactly. Well, technology is changing the way people watch a lot of content. So let's go to Auntie Mofe and tell us more about this project. So this project is a one done by my friend Oti Bolt's. Um, it's a movie about the intricacies of marriage and the vagaries that are within. And I'm not going to say more than that. I, I, I purposely left it vague because um, marriage is a very open, very open-ended conversation. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we, we think that we know, but we don't know until we get in there. You know, so getting in there and finding out that oh my God, that's onto Mofe, and then how ultimately the challenges are overcome. Mm. And for me, it's a beautiful piece because at the end of the day, it portrays the nitty gritty of how to overcome certain challenges in mm. marriage. Mm. Mm. Okay, I mean, it's you. There's a deep. whole lot of that's... people. When did this project? Your project, yeah. basically. When did you conceive the idea? When did this? whole process starts. Okay, well, I mean, once again, it's my French project, you know, and uh, so she called me over, told me about it, and I got involved, you know, uh, and, 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 uh, as an actor, but for me, I'm supporting a lot because I need to push it out there. My own projects are in the works. I'm working on them. Uh, they're still brewing. Uh, like I told you, my music is going to come out in the next week or thereabout. Mm. So I'm probably going to be here again. I will be here grooving. Wow. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to ask, like, for planning a project, what do you think works? Do you think being spontaneous with the plan or critically being intentional? Or, like, do you think sometimes each has its own benefits? No, you can't. With planning, there's no spontaneity. Mm. Um, with creating, yes. You know what I mean, right? Mm. With planning, you can't be spontaneous. Mm. You need to realize that there is a process that needs to be thought out, that needs to be planned, that needs to be um, 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 combed through with a, with a fine tooth comb because there's something called pre-production. Pre-production mm -hmm. is where all the magic is because you need to go through what is, what are we going to do? What could go wrong? What do we need to be, you know what I mean? And so when you get into it, I mean, there was a time that um, we, we got into a project that was when Ebony Life started. You know, we, we got into a project that um, we got quite some money for, I think, at the time. Uh, this is uh, one, point, uh, one point something million for mm. it. But okay. something went wrong with it, you know, and we had to go back. But when we went back, we planned with about 350,000 and mm. it was top three wow. because the pre-production was top cast much. iron. Okay. Mm. So we still have more questions. Yeah. Definitely we'll take a break. Yeah. And when we come back, we have Yemi Black in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go anywhere, guys.
We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've been having an amazing time with Yami Black uh, going through all the aspects from his new movie to his music. And you didn't, if you didn't know, he's into music too. I even busted a freestyle yes, <laughs> for us on this show. Yes, so let's talk about this project and the profitability because it's YouTube, which yeah. is a free um, streaming platform, as opposed to what we're saying when during the break that mm. cinemas. What's the profitability of this project? It's amazing how um, people, p the, the whole um, perception is that it's free, mm. but you're paying for data and they're getting um, adverts on, on so mm. there is a uh, remuneration that comes to movie makers. Yeah. In fact, I spoke with a friend of mine some time ago, we shot a project uh, for a bank that, um, you know, that is into production. And he told me, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, let me tell you something, I'm not going to be shooting cinema and things again, or this is where I am. Wow because of the profitability that's coming from there. Because what you see is what you know. Now, Yoruba, Yoruba film fans are crazy Huge. many. Huge. It's a crazy population out there. And they're always looking out for quality. And then we're looking at the market here, and we're looking at a crazy huge diaspora market. But the diaspora market has been twofold. For here, of course, we like to watch the movies. For them, that's one what of the thing? few ways they have to connect with home. Mm. You know what I mean, right? So they watch it, they consume it, and because of the fact that they're working all the time, some people have three, four jobs, then you know, so the in the train, there's something to just connect you with home and all that, and that's the beauty of it. That's, that's amazing, yeah. amazing foresight. So it's out already. Yes, it is. And um, just go watch it. Uh, just go watch it. I'll go on television, more on Timofe, or put Yemi Black, you say Yemi Black or Timofe, it will mm. pop up. It's amazing you also cross over both Yoruba and English. Yeah. Well, how would you compare rates, the old Nollywood? or old, yes, to the new? Uh, for me, um, of course I'm biased, but I think that the crop of talent mm. that was available then, because it was all about talent. Then it was about talent yeah, and what you bring to the table. But now it's about numbers. It's about glam. How do you dress? How do you sound? You know what I mean? But then it was about the talent. And acting has always been about talent. You know what I mean, right? I, have people, I know people who, who are big names that when they're on set, you have to baby them because <laughs> there's yeah because there's something called the subtext in acting which goes beyond what you say so what you don't say is actually more powerful than what you say mm. Mm. and then you can't really put that if you don't know the nuances of human psychology mm. and the talent that you need to portray yes. that we've had like a master class on so is just looking not even, not even, yeah, not it's actually very <laughs> impressive because i'm thinking of doing more of being better acting for like music videos and, and like impressions. Everything. also do acting too at the same time. Yeah, but the yeah, music yeah, videos is acting. <laughs> yeah. In fact, you know, sometimes it's actually more into acting because you don't have the, the, um, the privilege of words. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have that. So basically it's you're doing it with your eyes and your face. Yes, there's a music video I saw, um, that you guys can check out, James Arthur, Naked, the video. The female in the video, mm. her facial expressions were so amazing. Like the little mm. details, that's, yeah. that's what drove me mm. to, like, it, it was impressive. But well, anyways, I want to say also for your friend that doesn't want to put out cinemas, cinemas are a source of major income. And of course, I know that we have a really big cinema here too, so. He doesn't not she want to. Okay. Okay, so basically, every, every business has that's arms. Strategy. You know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. So there's some, in one business, they have high-end, um, production mm. and low-end production. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, I was in India to shoot in 2010, 2011, and while, whilst I was there, I realized that it's not just Bollywood, like we think it is. There's also Tollywood. That's not so popular. Okay. So when you see those movies where one person takes one banana, stabs 100 people, <laughs> uses his shoot to kill 100 policemen, those mostly Telugu movies. You know what I mean? Oh, right? Right. There's a market for it. Huh. It's a booming, thriving market. You know what I mean, right? So, but what you do is, because you're out here, you're saying, oh, you know what, this is, no. There's mm. a market for it, and you know what, the producers are very rich. Because they, they know what they the audience is like. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I like that critical thinking, looking young, you know, cinemas are amazing, cinemas are amazing, because we have one here yep. too, so, but whatever works for is the best. So, your music is coming out? Yes, it is. When is it coming out? Oh, in the next week. Okay. okay do, you have nice. do you have songs that we can listen to it, already? Yeah. That we can yeah, go, like, so what we, uh, on the, yeah, they don't the worry. Artist name? No, he's, going to, he's going to come back on the show. What's that one genre? Um, I 
don't like to um, do to genre. Okay. Yeah, because I just I'm a songwriter first mm. of all, so I just write. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So if it's reggae today, we should be manga. Said my manga. true poet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that's what it takes to be a, a, a correct. Let's say thespian or a correct um, great artist. person artist, because yeah. you have the acting. You have. Thank you so much, Emmy Black, for coming on the Bless show. You. So please. Make sure you go to YouTube and stream on Timo Fair. On Timo Fair. On Timo. Thank God I got that one because my Yoruba sometimes just comes out very No, well. this is what you're doing. No, it's, mas no. it's Master Yoruba. Oh, it's as in PhD. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Oh, on Timo Fair. No, my Yoruba is ah, you know not what? bad at okay, all. Okay, we're on television. I think I need money now. I need money now. So this is where I wrap up the show. I don't know if we have a word of the day. Say no word of the day. Okay. Um, But please... Make sure I get your PVCs to vote. You're voting? Yes, I am. In 2023. And um, say no to jungle justice, no to child abuse. And you follow us on all our social media platforms. And also, uh, we just showed you the videos of some of the beautiful girls who will be going to camp. It's going to be a beautiful month. And of course, uh, counting down to our most beautiful girl in Nigeria. So yes, this is where we yes, wrap sir. up the show. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on the show. We had Big Brother Niger Bellas. And we also had Trending. And we had, did we have Today in History? I don't think we yeah. did. But this will wrap up the show. We'll see you tomorrow for our Throwback Thursday show. Guys, bye-bye. Have a lovely day.